what is up everybody welcome back to my video i hope y'all have an amazing day as usual i'm back with the video uh in this video we're gonna show you the other side of patterson and what i mean by that is we're gonna go to some of the nice sections of the city right now we're not in one of those areas right now we're in the fourth ward literally right before i started this video you had this uh like lady who looked like she was on drugs sneaking through a fence um I mean, this whole area is really rough. Uh, pretty much from Straight Street to Madison Avenue along Broadway, this whole neighborhood is um, completely, you know, controlled by gangs. But um, with and uh, it's not good for somebody like me to go through there. But I kind of have to go through this rough part to go show you guys the nice parts. Um, yeah, around here they don't like the camera too much. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been harassed in this neighborhood a couple times, but uh, we're gonna go to the nicer neighborhoods on the east side of Patterson, which I will show you guys in a minute. Okay, right off the bat, I had to get off Broadway just because there were so many people, um, some of which are probably gang members just hanging out on the street. Look, you got a crackhead right there. And um, yeah. I uh, just didn't feel comfortable going down there. Um, they might rob me to do something worse. Um, so I am on, I believe this is Van Houten Street. I'm gonna head down Van Houten for a bit until we get to the east side. So this intersection here, Rosa Parks Boulevard and Broadway is about the worst of it. Uh, once you pretty much leave this block, yeah, once you leave this block, it uh, starts to get a little bit nicer. Although, you still got to be pretty careful, at least until you make it to Madison Avenue. Um, you know, in most hoods, if you just, I say that if, you know, if you just mind your business, you'll be okay. But I mind my own business, believe me. I don't come here looking for drugs or nothing, but uh, people will still bother you. Okay, so we crossed Madison Avenue, and uh, that doesn't look a lot different, but there's not nearly as much garbage in the street, and you don't see people hanging out on corners and stuff. Um, yeah, streets are pretty clean. People, people around here don't question you either. We're around here, it's about half black, half Hispanic. Um, once you go past Madison Ave, it's uh, pretty much all black. Um, I'm not trying to pick on anybody at all. Um, by no means. But I must say that it's not the Hispanics, you know, that are making Patterson a rough place. For the most part, the people hanging out on the corner is the one dealing the drugs are black. You know, and if it was white people doing that, I would say the same thing. So, don't call me racist. It's just my opinion. You know? Most of the people that are unemployed are the blacks. The Hispanics are really hardworking people. Um, but like I said, not trying to pick on anybody in particular. Um, I know a lot of people are really sensitive so I, um, I'm, I don't mean it in a funky way, you know, it's just an observation. Um, but yeah, now we're on the east side of Patterson. Once you cross Madison Avenue, you're on the east side of the city. We're heading even further east here. I can actually bike with a wide angle lens because no one's going to bother me. <laughs> if I do that in the fourth ward, I might get shot. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty chill around here. Good, hardworking people. So I just turned off of, I believe I'm on 13th Avenue right now. I don't know what that street is. There's not enough street signs in Patterson. There's actually a lot of times where you go through residential neighborhoods and they don't have street signs. So you, you don't know where you're at. But that's why we got Google Maps, right? So uh, yeah, now I'm seeing the really big house. You can see a really big mansion in the distance. And from here, to the fourth ward is about five five to ten minutes biking distance from Patterson's worst area so uh, right here 
is uh is that a uh a uh, synagogue or a uh a mosque there's a police watchtower so i'm assuming it's a synagogue uh look at this very nice streets as you can see it is no it's the islamic center oh uh, yeah there's a big um, middle eastern population in patterson and for the most part the middle eastern parts are usually nicer they really know how to keep up their neighborhoods got a pretty nice view from up here because we are on a hill and uh look at these houses this one has a uh a flag of the vatican and it does look kind of italian i must say or spanish and yeah, it looks more spanish actually i don't know spanish and italian are pretty similar look at these beautiful houses and look not an ounce of garbage that's something that patterson really has an issue with in a lot of neighborhoods i have to say um yeah i don't mean to trash talk patterson because i know all cities have their problems but um i don't think i go to the nice neighborhoods enough usually i'm in downtown or in south patterson south patterson's okay but you gotta go to the east side or near Totowa to see the nice parts. Um, so, so far, every person I've seen around here has been um, Middle Eastern. I don't know if a lot of Middle Eastern people live here or what. I don't think there's a lot of uh, white people because there's not a lot of white people in Patterson in general. But um, I haven't seen enough people to really know. But um, yeah, this looks like a, just a really fancy suburb. Right in Patterson. So, um, I'm going to look down on uh, 15th Avenue. You can see 15th Ave from here. I like that house. This one looks really old. Wow. Probably from the 1800s, maybe. Late 1800s. Maybe in the 1900s, a yellow house. <laughs> I don't like the door, but um, I do like the house. Got a man working on his car right now. Look at that one with the lions, the pillars. That looks very um, colonial. Like uh, that's something I would see in like Virginia or maybe even further down south. Somebody's got to do something about that flag right there. Is that a disrespect to our country? I think. All right, this is Park Avenue, which is uh, one of the main streets in Patterson. And actually, if you do go that way, you head far enough, you will be in the fourth ward on either Park Avenue or Broadway. Here's another old house. You can see, it looks like down here, the houses are getting older. Uh, ha ha, I came across Eastside Park. I've actually never been to Eastside Park. I've been to Patterson hundreds of times, but uh, I've never gone this far east. On foot, at least. Uh, of course, I've been down McLean Boulevard, but that's about it. I haven't ventured into the residential parts of uh, the east side. These houses, too. This one's massive. That one right there, look at how old they are too. Like this one is definitely 1800s. Looks like uh, looks like something straight out of like like a witch house or something. This one, this one right here looks kind of creepy too. <laughs> uh, we're gonna make a left. This is East Park Drive. Uh, we'll go into the park for a little bit, chill. Down there is uh, where you can see all the cars and trucks. That's uh, Route 20. AKA McLean Boulevard. Um, that's a nice house. This has got to be the most quiet block in uh, Patterson. You hear birds chirping everywhere. I don't really like birds, but um, it kind of goes with like a peaceful area type of thing. You know, you hear birds chirping in peaceful areas. Right here, look at how far that house goes back. <laughs> Got that old car in the driveway. Looks like it hasn't been driven in years. Uh, <laughs> you can see 
I don't want to, you know, really film somebody's house, but you can see a cat sticking out. About 15 minutes ago, I was in um, downtown Patterson on Main Street. <laughs> and that's probably the loudest part of Patterson. All the music, um, all the people, all the buses, the jitneys, the trucks, you know. It's lively, but uh, sometimes it becomes too much. So you got to come to an area like this to really get in on the... Um, Nice vibe. I love this house. I love the um, decorations in the front with the lines and everything. I just, I don't like the color purple. Who would paint their house purple? Here's another beautiful brick house. So, uh, as most of you guys know, it is spring now. So that means cherry blossoms are back. Um, I didn't know Eastside Park had a lot of cherry blossoms. Just look at them. Very quiet. Got a playground right there for kids. So this video is just to point out what the nicest parts of Patterson are. Because there really are, you know, a lot of nice parts of Patterson, but... You gotta look in the like deep to get into them you know what i mean like a lot of the main roads in patterson and um, the areas near downtown are you know pretty ghetto so so once you come over here you're like wow am i in patterson like i said this is not to diss patterson or anything i don't think it's a bad city i think all cities have their problems but um but no one ever thinks about this area. Here you can see some of the flower trees. I don't think this is a cherry blossom, but you can see some of the flowers are actually starting to blossom. They even got an ice cream truck out today. It's actually pretty warm for March. It's uh, about 60 degrees today. I'm not wearing a coat. I'm wearing a nice gray sweatshirt because I don't need a coat today. Got a bunch of tennis courts. This fountain probably goes off in the summer. Got some people playing uh, tennis over there. I'm never a big fan of tennis, um, but I don't really hate it either. Here are the beautiful cherry blossoms. Just look at them. They're not at peak season yet. I think you gotta wait uh, till about the first week of April and then they really start to get nice. A place I highly recommend is uh, Branchbrook Park in Newark. They have really, really nice cherry blossom trees and they have a lot of them. I think they have the highest concentration of cherry blossom trees in the world, I think. You know what, that might actually be Japan. Although Newark likes to claim they have the most, but uh, Probably like Mount Fuji, Japan, probably has the most. <laughs> Here's this monument. I'm going to take a look at uh, who it is. Um, yeah, I think it's Abraham Lincoln because you can see up there, it's a bunch of quotes and at the bottom, I don't think you guys can see that, but it does say Abraham Lincoln on it. So, and then here is all the people that built it. I don't know when it was built. We'll look at a year. They'll probably have a year located somewhere on here. Maybe not. I don't know. It does not say what year this was built in. So I do not know. Also got a gazebo over there. Um, and uh, we're going to head down the hill a little bit. So uh, hopefully we'll get a good view of Route 20. And maybe the Passaic River. Um, when you're on Route 20, even though it goes right along the Passaic River... For the most part, you can't actually see the Passaic River. 
Um, maybe we'll be able to see the Passaic River. I'm not too sure. Um, got another sculpture. Okay, this spot looks really nice. Looks like there's a couple places to sit. And uh, looks like the hill. So we're going to go check it out. This is, uh, yeah, really underrated location. Um, um, yeah, you can actually see the Pacific River from here. Okay, so there's a bunch of stairs. I'm just going to leave my bike right here. Uh, pay close attention to it because you know what actually I'm gonna take it down <laughs> um, I didn't realize how far down we can actually go I thought you know I just go to there and then come right back but uh no so I'm gonna bring along my bike uh, probably won't go down the hills with it at least with the camera in my hand I, I do like to go down hills with my bike but um not with not holding not with holding one hand you gotta have two hands you gotta be pressing the brakes so that you don't get hurt i don't know what the hell these tires there's okay there's actually three there's a little bit of graffiti on here which i do not like listen i love graffiti i i love graffiti um on pretty much anything but when you, it's on like something historic or like a school or on like rocks or trees that's kind of rude but look at the view from up here so across the river is a town called Fairlawn. And uh, I do want to give a moment to say, I do actually have a friend in Fairlawn. Um, I met him through his interest in trains. Some of you guys know I uh, have a strong inf interest for trains. And um, he will never go to Patterson. Um, I think his, his um, grandmother grew up in Patterson and uh, tells him like, do not go here, it's not safe. Um, and he's like legit thinks Patterson's a war zone. And that's what a lot of people think. Like they don't, when they see Patterson, they don't think of this, right? Um, so yeah, I try to tell him it's not as bad if you go, you know, to the right areas, obviously. <laughs> I don't want his first impression of Patterson to be the fourth war because the fourth war is a borderline war zone. But if you come here, it's nice. It's nice to see the cars going along. You can see Fairlawn, Elmwood Park. I think Elmwood Park's that way. And then if you keep going further down, I think uh, it's Glenrock or Ridgewood. I don't spend too much time in Bergen County, so I don't really know. But um, speaking of, um, you know, trying to give Patterson positive light, I do want to uh, shout out a, a YouTuber named Freddie Cardona. He, uh, I found his channel. Um, I kept seeing videos as I used to, you know, watch videos of Patterson. And then I think eventually I came across... Well, Pride in Patterson so I decided to watch his video series of showing you know positive and good parts of Patterson and like notable locations and stuff like that and so I was like cool this guy's pretty cool and then he found out my channel and um he does he's pr pretty much the only YouTuber on the internet um who shows positive parts of Patterson he um you know if you type in Patterson right now you'll probably find like news stories hood tours stuff like that um for me personally, I try, uh, because I don't live in Patterson, I just try to show the good and the bad, um, you know, but I'm not just showing Rosa Parks Boulevard and Broadway or something like that, you know what I mean? Um, you know, if you're going to show a city, you should show all parts of the city, you know, good and bad, which is what I try to do. Well, enough talking, I'm going to head into some other neighborhoods and then I'll uh, probably head out. All right, well, that's about going to finish up this video. Um, I was going to head through South Patterson and then head back home because I just, I don't feel like going through the fourth ward, uh, right now. This is, um, not as nice as the other neighborhood we were in, but it's still one of the better sections of Patterson. We're at Illinois Avenue and Potomac Avenue. All the streets here are named after rivers and states. Like there's a, I know there's an Alabama Avenue around here. I think there's a Michigan Avenue. Well, anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, God bless all you guys.